with another person I've been doing some work for, Thomas Greer, and he's actually got his machine here that I cut the parts for. So, Thomas, over to you. Can you just it, tell me what it is and what you've been working on? Sure. So this is a this was a, a V-tail design originally done by Armitan uh, over in Canada. This is their mini V-tail that they designed. Um, I like the look of the V-tail. The V-tail is great for racing because the, the canter back it's got directional thrust, so it's an awful lot more efficient. Um, but I really like the frame. Unfortunately, the design was just really, really poor. On the underside of the original frame, there was lots and lots of holes and cuts that they definitely tried to save weight on, but it just made the frame too weak, you know. So the first crash I had, the arms, you know, just snapped the, the plates yeah, clean off. No good, so. So I redesigned it, and also the carbon they used was, was quite poor quality. Um, so I redesigned the bits uh, and had that remelled, and that's good. Um, and it was this, it was the same again with the top plate. I mean, these this was just scattered with holes. It was really, really thin, really rubbish. Um, and you know, I crashed, you know, like like this bottom down, and the whole top deck just shattered. Um, so again, I just you know got the mount points that I needed, redesigned it, and um, yeah, that's it. So this has been solid. This hits the ground at 40 miles an hour. How do the V-tails fly in relation to say a standard say ZMR? Because everyone knows what sure. ZMR. Sure. Okay. So the, the, there's there's two main benefits to the V-tail. The first one is is for, for yawing. A normal quad uses differential torque to spin. So if it wants to go one way, it'll spin up two motors. If it wants to go the other way, it'll spin up the other two. However, with a V-tail, because of the angle at the back, if I want to turn, I just spin up one of the rear motors, and with a directional thrust, it turns left or right. So it's so much more efficient than your standard quadcopter for yawing. And the best thing about it is, if you're going around the corner and you're banking, a normal quad will drift out the way. Whereas with the V-tail, because you've got the angle and you've got the directional thrust, it stops you drifting out. You just turn and go around the corner. And, and that's where the V-tail comes into its element, you know. Around one of these courses, you're doing a fast straight into a corner. Most quads will just slide out on the corner. This, not a problem at all. Well, I look forward to you uh, racing that and uh, trying to catch a video. Trying to get a video of these today. They yeah. fly so quick. Yeah. And it sounds like this this thing here, this V-tail, is going to be even quicker, especially around the bends. Yeah, I mean, this runs uh, T-Motor 2000 KV 2206 motors, 645 props and four cells. Uh, yeah, it, it, it shifts. Uh, I mean, the power to weight ratio on this is immense. It's about four and a half to one, and that's with a 2200 four cell battery. Uh, we actually flew this last week with a five ampere four cell on it, and it was still doing the best part of 50 miles an hour down an airfield. So it's a pretty good design, pretty solid as well. Well, I'm happy that you've done the design. I've cut the new parts for you, and it's now super strong. So, yeah, perfect. Thomas, great catching up with you. No worries, thanks very much, Andy. And, Appreciate uh, it. See you very soon. Cheers.